I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh, Dalton, you're bringing this huge pile of awesomeness back. Why, well, yes, I am. Yes, we are in a different location. Yes, this is a Gator, and you've seen it before. But if you're new to the channel or had a mental breakdown recently, this is what the Gator looks like. Yes, this thing is sexy, and no, we are not having a yard sale out of the back. No, 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 some of these pieces, a lot of these pieces belong to the Gator, and some of them, yeah, we may incorporate them. Yes, I have been away for a minute, and I'd love to explain what's going on, but a lot of people just wanna see this go, so let's make it happen. The first task at hand, we gotta rip this engine out. Like we need to worry about getting things in this engine anyways. Yeah, that ain't spinning. So we got the air filter stuff off. Now I can show you something over here. But before I do that, this is the original engine that was in this thing. There's the tag on it. Then you can see the case is stamped right here. I believe this is a 92 AMT 626. It originally had a single cylinder engine. I wanna say that's somewhere around 12 horse maximum. If anybody knows, leave it in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate it. We tore that thing out and then put an 18 horse in this sucker. And yeah, we blew it up. What's that noise? This thing was gutless and tired. So we stepped it up a notch. Our next engine, our upgraded engine, beyond our original upgrade, is currently in an engine compartment of some sort. We need to first break this one out. Which one's older? And which one works better? And just like that, the choke cable is off and the gas line is off. My apologies, that was a throttle cable. You know how a lot of mechanics always complain about the engineering and the engineers themselves when it comes to tearing things apart because things aren't meant to be, aren't necessarily designed to be taken apart. They're more so, so it's efficient going down the factory assembly line. Well here at 3D Machines, I'm usually the mechanic and the engineer. Well, when I came to this exhaust, I had an accomplice, and him and I designed this so that you can't really get it off without cutting the frame. I don't know if I... I was gonna say, I don't know if I like it or I hate it that I have to get this thing out, but then it fell out of my hands. It's really heavy. As the Shambhal guy used to say, bim bam bam, every damn damn. And the yard sale goes. I mean, lot of collectibles, treasures, it, it's good stuff. What do you guys think? Do you guys like the looks of it with the bed on or off? Cause I'm like, I really dig this look. I'd want to take the box slash bed off because it takes up room for activities. It weighs a lot and it's gotta go back on this anyways. But to get this portion of the exhaust off, I couldn't really get my hands in here. I had to get to this bolt right there. I can now get to that bolt right there. I can get to this bolt all night long. Very good. This is when, when you're making a YouTube video, your camera falls for that one shot. Oh yeah.
Yes, both engines are off and out of the Gator. So Dalton, what engine are you going to put in the Gator? Well, I'm not gonna make you wait until next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Because you know, that's when the next upload is. No, I'm gonna show you right now. It's a snowmobile engine. Yes, a snowmobile engine, as crazy as that sounds. Now, I didn't go for the 440. I didn't go for the 500. We dialed in at the 580. And I'd actually be lying to you if I said it stopped at 580. Dalton, what are you talking about? The engine clearly says 580 right on top of it. Yes, you are correct. However, when people bore these things out, they don't put the new size stamped on the engine, no. So this isn't a 580, this is now a 600. And I guess the previous owner said that there's only 150 miles on this rebuild. Ah, so Dalton, you got scammed by another Craigslist seller. No, I did not. I don't, I, at least I don't think so at this point. The GS engine, the original engine that we were going to put in the Gator, I never saw that engine run. And I figured, you know, with my know-how and a couple other people's know-how, we could get that engine to run. We never could. It took me, Jason, and another motorcycle mechanic that makes a living doing motorcycles. We couldn't figure it out, so it was scrapped. This thing, this thing runs. With a little help from this thing, and a little TL3. Tender love and 3D machines. This thing will be ready to rock. The electric start didn't work anyways when I bought it, so... Is that everything? Now it's time to tear that engine out. Starter stride. tools all over my garage. I think I have it. Ah, you are supposed to take those suckers off. On this engine mount, took my cutoff wheel and cut that right off. This one, I could get the bolt off. However, there's a second bolt hanging onto it back here. And what's happening is this engine, I just can't get it out because the bolts on the bottom of this are hitting this, and this has got to go. Oh yeah, there we go. Belt's off. Also had to cut the handlebars and a couple other linkages because this box, I just wanted to rip it out quick. This piece was supposed to go here. One, one silly screw on one silly hose clamp. That one right there. Then this guy's out. <laughs> Got it. Let's 
So this beautiful work of engineering is now out of the Articat. Now I can remove this Articat carcass. We got more room for activities and we can start throwing this thing in the gator. We got the engine out and it's on this nice little platform that came with the new garage. You guys saw it clearly runs. This thing going into the gator. The gator is going to move on this thing's horsepower. This has the most horsepower that we've put on this thing so far. It's going to rip tater chip. And it's definitely going to make a hell of a list of good times. Now, all you guys that can do like Photoshop and stuff, if you guys could like take pictures or, or clips from this video and somehow Photoshop something so I can have something to refer to to build this thing because I'm not very creative up here when it comes to drawing stuff. I can just build something. So if you guys have like really cool ideas, like I'm thinking more of like a pickup type thing or a tow truck type thing. So we'll make like a, a custom flat bed. We'll put a wench on this thing. We'll paint it all up. That's the other thing I would like some color combinations. I'd like to keep a lot of the green on like the frame and stuff like that. So whatever goes with green, um, kind of want to shy away from yellow or if we do uh, yellow, maybe more of a poppy yellow. So you guys in the comment section, color combinations, uh, like the ones that you like. And then also the Photoshop people, if you, if you could please email that to me at machinemerch uh, at gmail.com or go on my Instagram and um, post or tag me. 3D dot machines. And if I like it enough, maybe we'll post it on my store even. Any help on that side, I would really appreciate it. I gotta now go home, look up parts for this thing. So that this thing can power this thing's four amazing wheels. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. I will see you next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Until next time, 3D Machines out.